Next, we have an amazing story of survival in Iraq. The word miracle gets thrown around a lot. You be the judge if it fits here. Bob Woodruff reports tonight. Sergeant Dan Powers is a soldier of very good fortune. It's an incredible story. It really is. It's a story that begins here at the business end of an Iraqi insurgent's knife. It felt like someone, like, kind of clothesline tackled me and a thump on the side of the head, like a bang. A teenage assailant had inched up behind him on a Baghdad street last July, plunging the blade deep into Power's skull, pressing against an artery and his brain. He had no idea what had really happened. While one soldier tackled and detained the insurgent, medic Ryan Webb rushed to stabilize Powers and keep him calm. I did have to fight a few people off that came by and were like, whoa, you've got a knife sticking out of your head. <laughs> they kept telling me, go sit down. They didn't tell me that, uh, how badly I was hurt yet. Did you not know there was a nine-inch knife inside your head? I did not. Not until later. Amazingly, Powers remained conscious and alert as he was rushed to a combat hospital. Only then did he finally notice the knife in his head and realize the gravity of his injury. I'm just amazed I was able to stay on my feet for that long. You guys want to go ahead and take the dressing down? When Powers arrived at the military hospital in Balai, surgeons faced critical decisions. But first, they had to get over their own shock. You just don't see a person with a knife sticking out of their head who's wide awake talking to you and, and uh, otherwise normal neuro neurologically. Neurosurgeon Richard Teff had a choice to make, clamp an artery and risk a stroke, or pull the knife straight out and hope for the best. We pulled it out, and I fully expected at the time that it was going to be very anticlimactic. But the knife nicked the artery, and blood poured out. And it was a shocker to all of us, and uh, we had really had to move fast when that happened. How much blood did you lose? About two liters, about 40% of the blood in my body. Back home in North Carolina now, Powers is counting his blessings and hoping to return to active duty. His speech, memory, and coordination are all intact. I have a little bit of loss of sensation on my face do all of it and I can't raise my right eyebrow so I'm kind of like Mr. Spock. <laughs> Mr. Spock? Yeah. And he's got one very unusual souvenir. Bob Woodruff, ABC News, Fort Bragg, North Carolina.